Okay folks, Simon Leach here, hey, welcome. I've got here 2.2 pounds of clay. What I'm gonna do is make a cylinder and then change the shape of the top. Something that you could practice doing that should really help you um, with your learning to train your eye to see a curve. So join me as I as I do that, let's just check we're in the picture. Yeah, I did this a moment ago and uh, started the clip and the camera fell off the, <laughs> fell on the floor. So, well, uh, we had to redo that one. So anyway, here we go. So, uh, I like this wheel, it's nice and quiet. So basically what we're gonna do is, we always make the practice of Bringing the clay up. And now we're going to push it down again like that, you see. You'll notice the, the wheel head, there's a lot of slurry here on the wheel head. What I tend to do is put my hand here and incline it in and it brings all this liquid, you see here, which is very good lubricating slip brings it into the center where the pot is and then bring my hand over it like that you see okay now we're going to go down now pushing that clay across So now I'm going to just cone that in a little bit. Okay, now let's just lift up that clay up into the cone. When you throw cylinders, throw them like this conically to start with. Bringing that clay up. keeps it in at the top you see because the centrifugal force wants the, to open the pot which is not what we want to do we want to keep it it's the difference you see between making say a bowl bowls are relatively easy to make and, and beginners can sort of get away with making bowls but you need to learn how to control the clay and that's where throwing a cylinder comes in so again Grabbing the clay down the bottom there, bringing it up, keeping it in, controlling the clay, you see. How's that looking in the picture? Yeah. I've got my mirror here, you see, so I put my mirror around the back of the camera here to where the, where the viewfinder is and I can see. I'm getting cunning in my, in my young age. Okay. Control your speed if you're on an electric wheel, but it doesn't run away with you. Remember, speed kills. Kill your pot. So I'm looking for a, sh a straight line here, you see. The thing about making cylinders is, is getting the line straight. You've got to be a bit strict with yourself because it's very easy to sort of think, oh well, that's more, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah but it isn't good enough more than likely. You're being lazy with yourself. So train yourself, train your eye. And I maintain, you can see a straight line, then you'll begin to be able to see a curved line. So don't start trying to make curves. Learn, like we do the ABC, learn with the letter A. So learn to see a straight line. And 
and if it needs if it needs a little correction then you can you can make it right now what I wanted to actually show you was and this is a little good practice now what, what I want what I want us to do is to close this in at the top so I'm, I'm about the top quarter of the pot here I'm collaring in the clay you see like this now when you collar in like that it'll tend to want to come out there so you then have to collar it again okay but as you collar remember it gets thicker so you have to you have to br the thickness here increases when you narrow the the net so you then need to to lift that up. Okay. Now, so we're on the road here to getting this in at the top. And it's a process. You do it little bit by little, little by little. You coerce it, the clay. And it's better that you do it like that and you're not too rough with it. Okay. You do it. Sort of gently. Persuade the clay. And if you if your methods of persuasion are, are good, you'll find the clay will now that's a bit of a point at the moment which I don't want. So, you may find, because you've closed it in completely, it's a good idea just to put a, a wee hole there in the top. Now, looking for that line, I want a nice, nice rounded top to this. So, I'm going to use my I'm going to use my stick, my throwing stick now, a little bit on the outside just to clean off the, the slurry and I'm going to use the angle here of my throwing stick to continue that line right the way down to the base, down to the root of the pot. A line always continues doesn't it? It doesn't just stop there, it actually continues on further so you have to sort of see that. So I've, I've cleaned it, now I'm going to use again using my stick here right on the very top, just going to clean off some of this slurry. Again, I may need just to put a little hole in it, just because it lets the air out. And there it is, folks. Okay, I'm not going to beat around the bush and try to be too precious about it, but I just wanted to show you that I'm going to be critical of myself here. Here, just in the centre, there's an area where it's 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 gone in a bit. It's not. see that just there there's a, a line where it's but not that's not too bad so I encourage you to have a go at doing something like that it's a twofold exercise it teaches you it teaches your eye the straightness of the shape of a form the verticalness of it which is 
is really important to to see that you've got to train your eye. It doesn't it isn't trained, you see, unless you unless you've trained it in some way. And then this here, try and get a nice a nice line here, a transformation from the vertical over over the top like that. You can then, you see, you can imagine from there I could then bring up clay and make a net and make a bottle. Maybe we'll do that. Anyway, okay folks, thank you for joining me and uh, hey, let's all keep practicing. <laughs> See you around.